Hi, and welcome to uh, the sports segment here on Breakfast Daily. Benjamin and Ketia reporting for DT. Hi, Afi. Hi, Hi Benji. <laughs> Hi. What's going, I like the way going. you say it, reporting for duty. Yes. Yeah, that's what it I is. I won't call you the name that I call you off air. Do not. <laughs> <laughs> so it's Benji for the morning. Thank you. Yeah. So, it's yeah. good to have you here. We had, we had DK here yeah, yesterday, yesterday yeah. Yeah. you know, doing was, some things, things. But no, yeah. I, 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 I didn't watch it, <laughs> but I know DK. I know, I know he did his thing. <laughs> I know he did his thing. <laughs> Y'all looking good on there. Thank so you. Are you. Thank so you. So are you. What's good. happening? Well, let's get into it. So there's transfer business in the news. Emmanuel Lomote. I don't know if you know this name, but there was a time where it was a very infamous name in Ghanaian sports circles. Black star circles to be specific. Mm. Why? Because he was getting called up to the national team and was not getting any playing time. So the, the qualm at the time was that he was the the pet of the GFA boss. Mm. Uh, uh, so he was getting call-ups that were undeserved. Turns out that he was rather the pet of CK Akono. Plot twist. Most people didn't uh, know this. Yes. Uh, so Emmanuel Lomote okay. was getting a lot of bashing from the Ghanaian media. Like he was the butt of all jokes. But the good thing is that he will be probably smiling to the bank because he's made a big move. He's 24 years old. He's a midfielder. He's moving from uh, French side Amir to uh, Swedish side Malmo. Now Malmo are the current Swedish champions. So mm. they are a big deal. They'll be playing in the Champions League. Uh, that's where Lomote is taking his talent. So um, I'm happy for him. Uh, I, I hope that this gives him a brighter spotlight to show what he can do because Charlie Ghanaians really, really went in on this. Yeah, and world. he's still quite young. So he yeah, yes, I mean, at 24, he, he, he hasn't even yet hit his, his prime. He yeah, hasn't even yet hit his prime. So. He's actually entering into his prime yeah, he's not as a footballer. There. So yeah. um, a lot more to come from Emmanuel Lomote. Uh, that's uh, on the transfer from undisclosed fee. He signed a contract until 2026, I believe. Mm. So that's what it is. Um, he's played for Extremadura in Spain. Uh, he's played for a number of teams. So... We wish him well. Let's let's do some other stuff. Let's get to the Ghana Premier League. So mm. uh, that's um, some interesting bit. So Mr. Easy's Bet Power yeah. uh, mm -hmm. are sponsors of the Ghana Premier League now. Oh. Yes, and you know Ghana football has been going through some turmoil <laughs> yeah. in recent times because it's like Anas number twelve here, mm -hmm. yeah. match fixing scandal there, mm. all that, all, all that. Things. And so yeah. people ha people are raising eyebrows like, whoa, wait a minute. So. All the match fixing, match manipulation controversy going on, mm. and the best headline sponsor you could get was a betting company. <laughs> so a, a, lot, a lot of people are like, "What's going on here? Do you have your priorities right?" <laughs> yeah. So there's that, and I, I, I'm not sure how you guys feel about it. I'm sure we probably no. have an opinion. I, 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 I don't know how you feel about that. Well, what were their options? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You know, what were their options? Good. That's Mo a good question. Money I think is that's money. Money is money. Is money. Oh, good. Options. Now the thing is, they didn't have a lot of options because. Due to all these scandals, a lot of corporate entities have not wanted to associate themselves with mm. the Ghana Premier League brand. Yeah. And so I'm sure they really had to dig deep. They, they had to negotiate really hard to get this on the table. It was a good deal. It's $6 million for yeah. three years. So that's yeah. $2 million per year or mm. per season uh, mm. for the Ghana Premier League. And now what's going on is that the general secretary of the GFA is Prosper Harrison. Now he says no. Our league will not be compromised because we have a betting sponsor. It's an assurance. Mm. We hope that they can make good on that assurance. Yeah, yeah I mean, honestly. they should just shame everyone. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Make good on your assurance. Exactly. That's and, what we're saying. And um, Mr. Easy hasn't gotten to where he is by being frivolous. Exactly. And, 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 and you mm -hmm. know, and, uh, and a spendthrift, you know. I mean, sorry, I'm, I'm, you know, just... Splurging money, money. He's very no, no, deliberate yeah, about what he does. Very, very, very yeah. deliberate yeah. about yeah. everything, you know. So, I mean, I, I am positive about you know where mm -hmm. this is going to go. I actually think it's a great marriage. It they should is. just make it sure is. that it's one that yeah. it bears great just, children. I mean, I think like yeah, just like everything else, it needs to be properly policed. It needs to yeah. be properly supervised yeah. to get stuff out of it. I, I, I think it's good news. The league mm. was reeling for a bit, so. Uh, for them to get a sponsorship deal, great news. Let's finish off with Serena Williams. Oh. Yes. She is in the news. So yes. she's been writing for Vogue magazine and she's been spilling some beans. So she says that uh, the career is winding down. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think tennis lovers have known for a bit, yeah. but to hear her actually put it in words yeah. um, actually made it a little more profound. So she says that she's 40 years now. She's one singles title short of the record, yeah. uh, Margaret Cross record. But she says, 23, I think I've done enough. Oh, yeah. um, US Open might be my last Grand Slam. I don't know how I feel about that personally. I feel like 
I feel like if she wants to go on, she has what it takes to keep going. But I'm sure she's thinking like, you know, I've been putting in the grind since I was like 18. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's mm-hmm. a really long time. I think people discount how how much or how long it's been yeah. for athletes. Like she's been top and, level yeah. for like 20 something so, yeah, years. And, 20 years. And it's wear and tear, man. And, and even 18 was professional. Yeah. Exactly. She was doing She went through long, really quickly. Yeah. yeah. That was that was pro level yeah. prior yeah. to that. All the prep that had been going into her, both her and yeah, Venus, yeah. you know. And look, I, I mean, she she's a mom now. Yep. I'm sure she wants to explore other things as, as things, well. Yep, yep. This sporting thing, we only get to see her when she's playing, yeah. mm-hmm. when she pops up for an interview. Yep, yeah. But she's constantly the on the training, road. Training, training, training on the road, doing yeah. interviews. It's, like it's, very, it's very stressful. Yeah. But it's what I job. think we should put on record is that I think Serena Williams, is one of the greatest athletes of all time. Absolutely. Like, not, not just like on the tennis level. Yeah. I think Serena Williams is to tennis what Michael Jordan is to basketball. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, I don't think we, we talk about it enough. Yeah. 23 Grand Slam singles yeah. is ridiculous. Yeah. And this is and, a black woman yeah. exactly. in it's, America. It's ridiculous. Yeah. No. And I think that there are some sports that have traditionally not been black dominated. Exactly. She's dominated. dominated. Yep. You know, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think back in the day, when Arthur Ashe did what he did mm-hmm. to tennis, mm-hmm. Serena has done for women yeah. in tennis, yeah. for black women yeah. in tennis, yeah. what Arthur Ashe did. Yeah. You know, and and, and let's not forget yeah. that women's sports in general doesn't get a lot of Attention. screen time. Yeah. Yeah. Right? So True. for her to have everybody in the sports yeah. world globally talking yeah. about her, yeah. she, she, she's a legend. And if she yeah. wants to bow, I'm okay. Is, I can make my peace with that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I want her to equal that 24th Grand Slam record, though. I just want her to do uh-huh. it. I was about just to say to the it. same thing. I, I don't know. I mean, can she dig deep just one more time? One more time. The last dance. I, I don't know. Maybe she's time. bowing out while the applause is the loudest. Th- there's that too. But you know. I feel like US Open, Serena, the last dance. It's Give home turf. Dance. It's home turf. Just give us Maybe, the last dance. Just yeah. Maybe. Maybe. One more. Benjamin, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well. All right. Fantastic. <laughs> we'll take a quick break and we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere.